of the NFL's all-time greats, Hall of Famer Franco Harris. Now, there may be an NFL lockout, but the former Super Bowl hero is helping bring jobs back to America, the heartland. We'll be talking to him in just a minute. Well, the market had a nice pop today, responding to good jobs numbers. The best news from our perspective was that the lion's share of new jobs, 88,000 of them, came from small businesses. Now, they, as we mentioned time and again on Scoreboard, are the backbone of our economy. If we're going to really fully recover from the recession, it's going to be small business that does it. And it is in the small business community that one of the great stars of the gridiron, Franco Harris, is now making a name for himself off the field, Hall of Famer and co-founder of the new company Silver Sport. Franco Harris joins us now to tell us how he's helping to keep jobs in America. By the way, I'd forgotten you have four Super Bowl rings. Four Super Bowl rings. Wow. Wow. And of course, the immaculate reception that everybody remembers. Back then, we like to keep those ring manufacturers going. <laughs> Exactly. Well, you did a good job at that. Uh, I think, is, is that the Immaculate? That's the run after the Immaculate Reception. Okay. Yes. How did you get it? You know, there are a lot of sports guys uh, with, with, with famous backgrounds like yours that just sort of lend their name to a product. This is different. You're actually actively involved in this company. How did you get Every involved? Every day. Uh, I've always had a passion for business. And, um, and through the years, I've worked and started different businesses. And and about a year and a half ago, uh, uh, me and a buddy named Tom Davis were talking about different business businesses, and uh, and he had this idea about nano silver being an antimicrobial, and how can we build a business with this particular okay, product? Let me let me just put it in English for for what you just said there. This is a product that has si tiny little silver particles, probably yes. microscopic silver particles, and they act against bacteria which means that they don't stink up if you use them in a workroom, right? Right, right. Okay. Absolutely right. <laughs> I put it in English. Forgive the vulgarity. Yeah. Right, because bacteria is really what gives products yeah. odor. Yeah. And all of us have staph and MRSA on our bodies. And when you sweat, you, you know, you wipe it on the towel or it's on your T-shirt. Right. And, and we all know how that smells later on, right? Yes, indeed. Because of the bacteria yes, you know from your well. body onto that product. But silver is expensive. And in, with inflation, I mean, silver is, is, is through the roof right now. Doesn't that add, aren't your, your basic costs from the silver ingredient uh, prohibitive here? Well, a couple different things. You mentioned, you know, like about small businesses. And, and small businesses, I mean, that's a lifeblood. And, and really, the job creation it's coming from small businesses, yeah. uh, really all over the world, coming from small businesses. Yep. And uh, so us being a, being a startup, that entrepreneurial spirit, you know, but we had to approach, um, you know, uh, medium-sized and big businesses to work with us. And what we found is that here in America, they're so happy to do that because they've lost a lot of jobs to companies overseas. But how did you, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure out some of the obstacles to starting a small business. And when I think of a company that uses silver, a commodity that is going through the roof, we just heard that the uh, Procter & Gamble is spending a billion dollars for commodities because of inflation for all of its products. Hasn't the, the jump in the price of silver cut into your profits? Sure, absolutely. But in the beginning, we mentioned that we're always going to give value. Yeah. Okay, you know, first of all, we're going to have products made in America great quality products and with the natural antimicrobial properties of silver and at the same time give good value and we've been able to do that we've been able to work with our manufacturers because they realize that also that to be competitive we all have to work together and give good value to the American consumer. And you're making a great run of it. I have to ask you about the lockout, the NFL lockout. Now we got the NBA lockout. Uh, part of the reason you have an NFL lockout is because of retired players. The, the demands from, from the Players Association to take care better of the retired players. Is, is that a concern of yours? Do you get involved anyway in that? Well, I don't think that's the reason for the lockout. But, not not uh, particularly, but there's that's but, at least part of it. But, uh, but we want it to be part of it. And... And, and like that's the problem right now where the retired players do not have a voice in these negotiations. So you're trying and, to get and, into the negotiations and, more. And we want a voice because uh, the pre-93 pension really is, is a situation that needs to be dealt with and also disabilities with players after they play. We've talked to players uh, here who have bad knees. They, they can't afford knee operations. You know what? I see some guys who had eight operations on this, on this knee, six on this operation on their shoulders, their backs, a lot of guys in bad shape. And quality of life afterwards is very, very important. 
And uh, so, are you are they letting you in? Is the players' association letting you into the discussions now? Well, well, as of right now, we are not. But the court, uh, but but the court date is set for August the eighth. But we're hoping that things get done before that. Franco Harris, best of luck to you, man. Not only in much. NFL negotiations, but on the on silver, the silver towel, silver mat. The silver sport is the is the brand name. Thanks a million. Yes, thank you for having me here today. Good luck. Come back and see us again. Come